Mic test, mic test. I sold like literally my whole studio setup, so I don't have like my box lights anymore, or, like my ring light or any of my lights. I only have my camera, my microphone, and some little bits and pieces of my accessories because I don't need it right now. Like I don't see myself filming like studio type because I don't have a room for it. Like my studio is now a nursery, so yeah, that's the explanation for that. But let's see, okay? I grabbed my bag from my car because this has been ready for two months and I'm still here. I am still on my, I'm on my 39 week right now. And so I'm pretty much done. But let's see what's inside my bag. I am getting scheduled to get induced next week, Friday, which is the 29th. Um, if it doesn't happen before that, I'm already scheduled, but if it happens before that, then great. Woo! All right, let's see what's in my hospital bag. Just got a little carry-on, and it's full. And also, I don't think uh, hospital bags are required. You don't really need to have hospital bag ready if you're pregnant and you give birth. You know, the hospital will have everything you need, and... You know, most of the time you're going to be in a gown anyway, and you're probably just going to spend one or two days there depending on how your delivery um, procedure is. But overall, I think I'm going to be doing normal delivery and, you know, it's probably just going to be one or two days in the hospital, so it's not going to be that long. All right, let's get into it. This is... A lot of people say that having a hospital bag ready is just you know an option for you for you to feel very ready and comfortable in the hospital and you know i'm more i'm all about comfort i'm all about like getting ready and organized and i'm a planner so i have this bag ready for two months yeah all right let's see let's start with my stuff then i have two sets um, I have two sets. I put my hair up. I feel like Minnie's so curious. So I have two sets of sweaters and jogging pants. One pink and one black. <laughs> So that's for me. I just have two sets of comfy clothes. One for lounging if there's visitors and one for, you know, on the way back home. Minnie, no, this is Xander's stuff. Hi, hi Minnie. Okay. And then one, two, I got four, I got three underwears. I got socks for warmth. I'm sure they don't have socks there. Um, I don't even know. I don't really have a pattern or I'm not very... I'm just like, I forgot what I put in here. So it's like I'm just digging in here like, I don't know. This is my toiletry or makeup bag or whatever. But there's no makeup here. I'm not really bringing any makeup. I'm just bringing dry conditioner, deodorant, toothpaste, uh, portable toothbrush, two kinds of masks, I have loops, an eye patch cream, a uh, face moisturizer. I don't really need this because I have... I guess I'll just put it there. Oh. Oh, my back hurts. So yeah, that's my toiletry. I have a big lotion. <laughs> I have Xander's little socks. This is newborn socks. How cute. I have, I don't know why I have four. Why do I need four? Four pairs. Probably going to put this back in his dresser. 
Yeah. Let's just do three, right? We don't need four. I don't know why I put four in there. Better to have more than less, right? And then I have his little outfits. Um, I have a little blue hat and blue mittens ready to go home. And his little blue outfit over here. And then there's like extra clothes for him, but that's just what he's gonna wear. On the way home, matching all blue. This is his cute little shoes. I am probably not, he doesn't probably need shoes, but we got him a little like shoes matching with his onesie because it's Minnesota and it's cold still. It's like 30 degrees. So he's gonna put his outfit and then this is gonna be on top. His little blue onesie with a little like bear hood. How cute is that? So he stays warm, right? So cute, it's probably big, but. I have a new slippers. I need slippers. I'm not gonna, you know, walk around with socks on and that dirty, <laughs> dirty hospital floor where everybody like walks around with their shoes on. Um, and then if they have slippers there, you know, it's not a hotel, so I'm sure their slippers are not great. So I got my own slipper. I got my new comfy slipper. And then I have a blanket. This is a blanket for Xander, so when we go home, we're gonna cover the car seat with this because it's cold, you know? And just for him, for him, for him. What else do I got here? My favorite part is the onesie and his outfit. <laughs> I'll fix this. I wonder what I need. I feel like I need more stuff, but I'm sure I don't, you know? I'm like, I'm an overpacker, so that's why I'm like, huh, I wonder if I need more stuff. And this bag is already full. That's pretty much it. I can't think of anything that I'm gonna need. Oh, except for like charger, right? Like phone charger. Probably phone charger, yeah. All right, let's zip this up again. <laughs> and then probably just like my facial routine. I just got like, you know when you shop at Sephora and you're a member? I'm a VIB Rouge member, so I get like a lot of points. So I get like a lot of these samples of products so i'm just like taking like you know i have a mini serum and a mini cream moisturizer and a mini like face wash thing so i'm just bringing that because it's small and it's like good for one two three uses this is fresh this is a little cleanser, good for probably one, two, three uses. And then I got a fresh activating serum. Technology from Fresh. And then I have a Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream from Fresh as well. So these samples are gonna be like, you know, my to-go facial routine when, I, when I'm there for like two days. So nothing. Nothing fancy, that's pretty much it. I'm not, I don't like bringing like a whole bottle of stuff when I'm traveling. And then I got pads. These are just like regular pads that's a little bit thicker. And that's all I got. I know some people like to have like that whole like underwear pamper thingy, but I don't know, maybe I don't need it. And I'm sure the hospital will provide, you know? <coughs> And then for Pampers, for like milk, for Xander's like stuff that he's gonna need, they have that to provide over there, which we'll never really know what the kid or the baby will need until, you know, the day happens. So we'll just see what he needs and then, you know, we can always buy stuff after, or like before you come home after like you give birth, right? 
So that's pretty much it, you guys. That's that's what I have in my bag. It's not very interesting. It's not very exciting. But that's what I got going on here. And I put this back in my car and that is it for what's in my hospital bag. <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.